girl, I think I want you now. I wanna see what you about. Bomb chicken, If I get you, girl, I be proud. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is sponsored by Miss Coco and it came in this red box. Really pretty. So the hair is actually red. So red hair came in a red box. And I'm just taking it out and it is a lace frontal and I'm going to open it up so you guys can see but it is a lot of parting space, lots of frontal space to work with. And I absolutely love color on me, so I already know that it is going to pop. So I have it on my head. As you can see, it is a very vibrant red. I've done like burgundy colored reds, but never a true red. So I'm very excited. And I'm just going over the hairline with a wax stick. And of course, I'm going to hot comb the hair going back just to slick it back and also just so I can see the hairline so that when I lay the lace there is no hair in the way. My Holy Grail lace tint product is the High Beam Intense Hair Dye Spray in the color brown and I only sprayed it on the front of the lace. I didn't spray it all over the lace just because I didn't feel like it was necessary and then here I just cut some lace out of my face so that I can see what I'm doing because I have these big lashes on. And then I'm just cutting off the lace that is going over my ears so that it lays flat from ear to ear. So I already did the ball cap method off camera and I'm going in with the bold hold lace glue. So this one layer of glue is the only layer that I'm going to do. And I'm just spreading the product out using the end of this comb. And as you can see here, the glue has dried clear. So I'm just gonna take this lace and lay it down. I always start with the middle first. So I'll lay that down first and then I will do the sides one at a time, just making sure that it's laying right on top of the glue. And then I like to take a comb and just really press it in and press it down just to make sure that everything is sticking and that this will not come up, it will not lift up, at least not for a good week. So I'm doing a deep side part or I like to consider this a deep side part. And I'm just taking the comb and just getting my part how I want it to go. And I'm doing a swoop bang so as you can see here, I'm forming where my bang is going to be and just taking the wax stick, of course, because it's going to help form the part in the way I want the hair to lay. And of course, I'm going to go over that with the hot comb, really essential because as you can see, the hair is not laying how I want it to lay, it's just doing its own thing. So yeah, it's really important just to go over that with the hot comb to get it nice and flat. So I do not have my swoop bang just yet. I didn't want to do it yet because of course the lace is still there. I have not cut it off yet. The hair will be going in my face. I just wanted to go ahead and get the hair in position. So when I do cut the lace, it's already ready to swoop. And as you see me doing here, I am cutting off the lace. And I just cut in the middle and I cut one side at a time. So now that I have the lace cut, now I will begin the process of doing my bang. So as you see me here, I'm just pulling the hair down in my face and I'm hot combing it going downward so that the hair lays in that direction. All that I'm pretty much doing is just making sure that it lays flat and just making sure that this is what I want to do. I always love a good side part bang on me so it's never an issue but i definitely wanted to do it with this red hair so now i'm just getting some hair because i'm going to do baby hairs i'm doing fluffy baby hairs so i have the hair pulled out that i want to use and i cut it and then one of the steps for fluffy baby hairs is to curl them so I'm just making sure I get a nice little curl in them. You want a bump in this. 
so yes i just curl it going away and then i like to use eco styling gel to lay them and i don't want to use too much because i don't want to lose the curl you want to keep the curl at the end so it gives that fluffy look i don't know how people do it using foam but i just cannot get it right so i just use my good old eco styling gel it serves me well and then i'm going to do a baby hair as well and i'm doing the same thing i'm just going to pull some hair out and then i will cut it and curl it using that mini flat iron i'm not sure the inch of it is not the smallest one but it's small enough to curl baby hairs and like i said i'm just going to curl it away and i actually really liked how the sideburn came out it definitely came out more fluffier and more curlier and you'll see once i swoop it it still has the curl on the end which is what i want i think it looks really pretty i'm definitely getting better and getting the hang of this so i'm super excited here i'm going back to the bang because now i want to set it in place make sure it doesn't move it's up and it's stuck and the best thing to use is the pump it up spritz spray it is a holding spray and it is going to hold you down so i just sprayed some i didn't spray too too much because i didn't want it hard and crunchy but definitely enough to hold it in place and i also use some of that wax stick and i'm just going over that with a hot comb it is hot you know it's sizzling especially with the spray but like i said it's just going to hold it down which is what i want so this is going to take a little bit of time so you're just going to see me keep going over it and swooping it until i am satisfied with it until i get it to look how i want it to look as far as the other side is definitely giving what i wanted to give with the baby hairs like i said and i did end up doing one on the other side just because i was going to be pulling the hair behind my ear and i didn't want it to just be nothing but ears so i did do a little sideburn on that side as well because i feel like it complements the hair it complements the style so i did that and also i don't really like the shape of my ears i know but when i pull hair behind my ears i definitely like to do the sideburns because i feel like you can't really see my pointy ears as much but that is besides the point as you can see the hair is pretty much set into place at this point and i'm just playing around with it just messing with it it's really not too much else I can do to it, but this is exactly what I wanted. So I was going to curl this hair, but I was looking at the natural texture of it. And I'm like, this looks bomb. And I've been running my fingers through it and it's not a frizzy mess, but I did take some of this Bio Silk Silk Therapy just to add some shine to the hair. And like literally the hair still looks good. You know when you run your fingers through curls or waves, they just fall out of place or they just become frizzy. This hair did not do that and I love that. Which makes styling such a breeze. This style is very easy to achieve. It didn't require a lot of plucking or none of that. So I'm absolutely in love with this and this color. And the last step that I'm going to do is just take some concealer and run it through the part just to bring it out some. It really makes a difference when you can see the part line. But like I said, I love the color. I love the hair. Everything was perfect. So I'm very satisfied. I will have everything listed down below. So make sure you check that out. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Thumbs this video up sub if you're not already and i will catch you guys in the next one working on a weekend like usual way off in the deep end like usual niggas swear they passed us they doing too much haven't done my taxes i'm too turned up virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hit the block up, I tell you if it was us. Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush. Say my day's a number, but I keep waking up. No, you see my text, baby, please say something. Wine by the glass, man, a cheapskate hump. Niggas gotta move on my release day, huh? Bitch, this is fame, not clout. I don't even know what that's about. Watch your mouth, baby, got an ego twice the size.
size of the crib I can never tell the shit it is what it is Said what I had to and did what I did Never turn my back on everything